Hey, good morning. Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke 11, verses 45 and 46 today. Then one of the lawyers answered and said to him, Teacher, by saying these things, you reproach us also. And he said, Woe to you also, lawyers, for you load men with burdens hard to bear, and you yourselves do not touch the burdens with one of your fingers. So there were three woes to the Pharisees, and now there are three woes to the lawyers. And this is the first of the three. And the first urgent thing that Jesus says is, look, you are putting burdens upon men. You're setting burdens forth upon them that, that you're not yourself even attempting to be faithful to, and you're wearing all these people down, and it's all wrong. So this is one of, the, one of those woes. And you think about that, there are a lot of people, religious people, people who put requirements and oppress you with things that supposedly you're supposed to do. What are we supposed to do? Well, we should really look and see what what does the Bible say? What has God told us by what he's revealed through the scriptures? Those are the things we should look to shape our lives by. But there are so many people who have an idea. You should do this. You should do that. You should do that. There's many uh, religious requirements out there to accomplish, which will get you toward heaven or help you be a person that we approve of. Well, guess what? It doesn't matter who we approve of. What matters is, what does the Bible say? What has God revealed? What is the plan? And so, God says his commandments are not burdensome over there in 1 John. That's the truth. His commandments are not burdensome. They're the right thing. And so when we have, be careful, we need to be careful about the added requirements and supplements of humans, people that, things that lawyers, priests, pastors, and, and groups, religious groups put upon you and say, you've got to do this, you've got to do that. Let's always be careful and go back to the word and make sure that it's in the Bible. Let's make sure that, that whatever we're doing is what God tells us. That's what will bless us. That's what will be a blessing to the lives of others. And the, the lawyers here are in trouble because Jesus says, you're adding a lot of requirements. You're creating trouble. You're making life a lot harder for people. It's hard enough. They don't need your unbiblical things added onto the top. So let's watch for what God wants and be careful of what the lawyers or other official type people want because many times they've added to God's requirements and uh, disturbed it, disturbed the balance of what's right. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we look to you. You are our guide. There are many people who are ready to stand up and be our guide, but we always want to come back to the Bible. What do you say in your word? How can we live according to the things of, of scripture? Bless us, Lord, by helping us in these areas. Watch over us so that we are not subject to the whims of lawyers and official type people. But let's first start with your requirements. Thank you for hearing our request, Lord. Help us to discern between the commandments of God and the commandments of men. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. So he's ready. Jesus is ready to help us discern between human commandments and the divine commandments, the things that give us life. So friends, we're saved by Jesus, not by the commandments, but we should see what he wants and we should do it. Friend, you be blessed today in all that you do as you serve him.